The Maselli Group presents seminars and workshops, advanced presentation skills for financial professionals. With Frank Maselli, financial industry expert and author of the best-selling book, Seminars, The Emotional Dynamic. Episode 8, Understanding. Hi, welcome back. I'm Frank Maselli, and this is Episode 8, Understanding. How do you create and deliver a workshop that is understandable by your audience? And why, why is understanding an emotion? Well, Carl Sagan said something that I think is pretty interesting. He said, understanding is joyous. When people can understand something, when they can grasp a complex concept for the first time, you're creating an emotional feeling inside those people, a feeling of empowerment, a feeling of self-confidence, if you will. So that's what we're talking about. How do you build a presentation? How do you deliver a workshop that people can grasp, they can understand it? Well, the first thing is, it starts with what we call the hourglass structure, the hourglass. Let me show you very simply. The hourglass structure is the broad construct for the entire presentation. Hourglass starts big and broad works its way into narrow details, and then ends big and broad. Now, this isn't a very good drawing, unfortunately. But this is basically what we're talking about. You open big, OK? You work narrow in the middle, and you end big. Let me give you an example. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here tonight to talk about a problem. This problem faces 160 million Americans. It is one of the most significant problems we have ever dealt with in any financial context. There is no government agency, there is no program, there is no system, there's nothing that is prepared to handle this problem that we are here to talk about tonight. This problem will affect not only individuals, but entire families. It's something that doesn't just hurt one person, it hurts multiple generations of people. And in the next 10 years, this challenge that we're facing will wipe out over $20 trillion of wealth. All right. What am I talking about? What, what the heck is this problem? I mean, this is a big deal, right? I just made this thing sound really dramatic. Well. That is the standard opening for something that I would do for a program called long-term care insurance. I'm guessing some of you have heard of long-term care insurance. What is long-term care? It's basically, you know, something that takes care of you when you're in a nursing home. Is this a big deal? Mm, yes, it's gigantic, and nobody understands this. If you've had any experience with relatives who've had Alzheimer's, you have some sense of what I'm talking about. This is a monstrous problem, and no one is prepared to deal with it. Now, my alternative was to say, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're here tonight to talk about long-term care insurance and the new regulations that affect taking withdrawals out of your insurance policy. You know what? That's boring as heck, and that's not going to set the stage for the tone. So I don't open on details. I will work my way into details as we get through the body of the seminar, but never open on a detail. It's just so boring. It's not a dramatic way to open at all. And remember, we're talking about creating understanding. So I started big, I worked narrow, and then I ended big, what does this mean? Ladies and gentlemen, we discussed something tonight and we gave you a lot of details, but let me bring you back up to the opening. This is a gigantic issue that we all face. It's something that we can't hide from. You get the idea, okay? The hourglass structure, very useful for the broad construct of your event. Great. Logical flow. To be sure that people understand you, your seminar has to progress logically from point to point to point. Now remember, in an earlier episode, I told you I was a quick start, and quick starts like to jump around. Okay, well, when I used to jump around, because I still like to do that, there would be people in the room who would raise their hand and they'd say, uh, Frank, uh, you, uh, you skipped a couple of slides. Can you go back over those? Remember the follow-throughs? Remember those hyper-organized people? When you jump around, the organized people in the room get very upset. They get tense. They don't like that. They feel as though they're losing information. So you must maintain a logical flow from point to point to point. Now, I'm not saying you've got to stick to a strict agenda. I don't use a strict agenda. You, you can't keep me on an agenda. But I'm attending Quick Start. Some of you 
will naturally like an agenda. Some of you will feel naked without an agenda. And that's your natural style, and that's fine. You run the risk of boring the quick starts if you don't do something to get them engaged and maybe bounce out of the box occasionally. But must maintain a logical flow. Visual builds. This is gigantic, and the good news is it's as simple as dirt because PowerPoint does this for you. What we are doing right here on this slide is a text build. Notice how these things appear one element at a time. The alternative to a text build is to have all the text come up at one time on a single click. What's the problem with that? What happens when you click and everything appears all at once? Well, um, people read ahead. They don't really even know which bullet point you're focused on. So by doing a simple text build, and this is the raw basic element here, okay? By doing a simple text build, you keep people focused on what you want them to think about. Now, it gets more complicated. Let's take this to a graphic visual build, okay? This is the typical graphic that you would see in any, you know, financial presentation that you might do. And some of you are looking at this, you don't know what this is. This is the efficient frontier. This is what we, this is the Markowitz curve. This is, you know, the balanced portfolio, the asset allocation. This is the essence, the cornerstone of what we call modern portfolio theory. I'm guessing everyone, you know, watching this, every one of you here in the room is totally familiar with this, okay? This is the typical way that the slide would be presented, and this is an absolute nightmare. You do this to an audience, they have no clue what you're saying. They have no clue what they're looking at. This is an extremely complex visual. So instead of doing this, click everything appears, you do it one element at a time. Watch the difference now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to teach you a concept. It's a very important concept, and it's something that if you understand it, you will forever understand how to manage your money. It's called the efficient frontier. But let me show you, because it starts with a line, and then I let one line appear. This line represents annual rate of return in percentage terms. And the line goes up from zero return to a very high return on your investment. Everybody with me? Good. Let's build it now again. It goes to a second line. This line represents risk. Risk is standard deviation. I'm not going to get into explaining what that is. All I can tell you is as this arrow goes out on the curve, this is very risky stuff. This is very low risk stuff like money markets or treasuries. Okay. You put a point here. You put a point there. This investment is a low risk, low return investment. This investment, high return, very high risk. Doing this one element at a time keeps the audience with me. They're getting this now. Some of you are probably taking notes, which is great. The line between these two points is a nice straight line. The more return you want, the more risk you have to be willing to take. We thought this was true. This was common sense for 200 years. And then along comes Harry Markowitz. And Harry said, no, no, this is wrong. When I blend investments that are non-correlated, I'm not going to get into this today, but when I use non-correlation, I can actually increase my rate of return and decrease my risk. The line doesn't go straight. The line curves. This curve won the Nobel Prize in economics. Common sense doesn't win you a Nobel Prize. Breaking out of the box does. And Harry Markowitz proved that by blending the right kinds of investments together in a portfolio and blah, blah, blah. You get the idea, okay? I don't need to drill this too, further, too much further. This is the efficient frontier. Everything builds one element at a time. This is powerful. You just taught them something, and they now understand a concept that, I, that fewer than 1% of the investment population understands. And you taught it to them. And now they attach the feeling of understanding, that feeling of empowerment, they attach it to you. And they give you credit for making them smart. Oh my God, what an incredible feeling this is and what a bond you have just created with that audience. Let's talk quickly about jargon. If you want to deliver an understandable seminar, you will avoid using jargon. Now, jargon, unfortunately, is part of our profession. We are a profession. We have our own language. That's what makes us a profession. It's OK to use jargon, but explain the jargon you use. When you use a term, basis points, yield curve, when you use a term like that, 
The audience doesn't get it. So say, folks, listen, I'm going to use a term with you. Some of you may be familiar with it. It's called a basis point. Let me explain what this is. It's an important term to understand. Boom, then move on. Don't spend an hour on it, but teach, teach the jargon that you're going to use. Again, keeps people on the same page. Check the map. Checking the map means periodically throughout the body of the workshop, just stop and say, is everyone with me? Have I lost anyone yet? Are you still together? Any confusion out there? Are there any questions on what we've talked about? Just takes 30 seconds, gets everybody back on the same sheet of paper. And if you do get a question, you can assume that there are 10 other people in the room who didn't understand it. So it's not just one person. It's everybody else. So if you have to explain it, go back and explain it. I've got you on my train, okay? I don't want to lose any of the cars on the train. I want everybody to come with me. Analogies. Use of analogies, very important. What is an analogy? An analogy is something that compares something new with something familiar. You've seen this. The stock market is like a uh, roller coaster, okay? It goes up, it goes down. The ride can be very scary, but sometimes the only risk you take is if you jump off the roller coaster too soon. That's a standard analogy we've been using for a long time. Uh, inflation. Inflation is like a little rat gnawing away at your nest egg, and suddenly you go to the cupboard one day and it's gone. That's inflation. It eats away at your savings a little, little by little every year. The, the rat metaphor, all these, all these analogies are good. Dividends. You need, you need a whole host of analogies. In the workbook for the seminar program and in the actual book itself, there's a bunch of analogies that I think will help you, and you can fill them out yourself. You probably have a whole list of analogies that you've used throughout your career, and the workshop is the time to bring them out. Images also help. Analogizing with an image is a very simple tool, but it's a powerful tool. I got a better one for you. Use the image and then use a physical prop. What is this, by the way? Can everybody see this? This is a Humvee. This is a military Jeep. Why in heaven's name would I be talking about a military Jeep in a financial presentation? Makes no sense. Ah, makes tremendous sense. And I would say to the audience, folks, what is this? This is a Jeep, right? Is this the most comfortable vehicle in the world? No. Is it the fastest? Absolutely not. Is it the most stylish? No. What is it? It's an all-wheel drive vehicle that no matter what happens, one wheel will get you home. You could have three flats, and the fourth wheel will get you home. This is the kind of portfolio we're building for you. We are building the all-wheel drive, all-terrain portfolio. We're going to blend different money managers, independent suspension, all-wheel drive. We're going to blend that into your portfolio and create something that gets you home no matter what storm the market throws at you. Sounds goofy. Years later, I had people come up to me and say, Frank, I want that Humvee portfolio. I want that all-wheel drive portfolio you talked about. And the best thing I ever did was not the picture. The best thing was I gave out little models of a plastic Jeep. And people could play with them. They could roll them on the table. They could spin the wheels. All the, all the implementers in the room went crazy. Remember, you're going you're to have some implementers out there. Give them a prop. Give them a toy to play with. They'll go wild. They'll love you. Let them take it home. Put your name on it, OK? Frank Maselli, all-wheel drive portfolio. Fantastic sales tool. OK, that's the basics of understanding. Remember, you're not here to baffle them with BS. You're not here to confuse them. You're not here to pile more nonsense on the, on the top of all the talking heads they get. They get enough confusion from the media. You're here. The entire purpose of the workshop is to clear up confusion. It's to let them go out into that parking lot and say, wow, you know, I understand interest rates for the first time. I understand what goes on in the stock market. I understand. The phrase, I understand, is a powerful emotional bond that you've created with that audience, and nothing can replace that.